What the Arsenic, lead, and other toxic metals have been found in tampons. Are toxic metals in tampons poisoning you? Now this study found that 16 different metals, including heavy toxic metals like lead and arsenic, have been found in 14 different tampon brands. Interestingly, arsenic concentrations are higher in organic tampons, while lead is higher in non-organic tampons. But what does that actually mean? Are tampons really poisoning you? Firstly, the researchers have digested their tampons using acid and then they microwave them to try and extract the metals. This is nowhere near what the vaginal environment can do. The sample size is also pretty small, so can it really be extrapolated to all tampons? Probably not. But more importantly, where could the metals have come from? So they might be from the soil, they might be from contamination from water during the manufacturing process. For example, water in Europe and America is sometimes contaminated with lead. And look, some metals can actually be purposefully added to tampons for their antimicrobial properties, for lubrication to help insertion, and even to help regulate odor. Now, regardless of where the metals are from, surely the levels are dangerous. Just purely going on numbers, lots of people are saying that bottled water contains a higher concentration of lead than tampons but that's not necessarily true. However, by consuming a couple of litres of water a day, there will likely be more lead in that than in tampons. But more importantly, while there is no safe or acceptable level of exposure to lead, we do not know whether the metals can actually leach out of the tampons and whether they can become bioaccessible for absorption through the vaginal mucosa. More research is required into that. This study has led to so much clickbaiting and I really disagree with that because the study has not been conducted well. Because if they really cared, then they would have recreated the vaginal environment's pH level and temperature. But I suspect that this type of study would not have made headlines. But what are your thoughts? Are you going to stop using tampons off the back of this paper?